Hello Masoka Universe. Um, I actually was planning to do a video on whether the Premier League is currently the best league. And yeah, short answer, it is. But there is a longer answer that I want to get into, but I don't have the energy at the moment to go through that. Maybe I get to that next week. You know, Premier League is soon over uh, after this weekend. So I said, well, let's do another jersey video to show you one of my collection um and yeah what am i wearing i'm wearing my spurs polo one team that made it to the champions league final now look at the shirt from the other team that made it to the champions league final and that's liverpool you already have seen my or 12 13 or 13 14 I always get the uh, dates wrong for that one. Um, home jersey by Warrior, the one that they became almost champions in. I think it's a 13 14 one. And that's the home jersey. And now we look at the away jersey that I have. I, you know, I saw this one and I actually liked it so much that I needed to get it. I mean, usually I have only two shorts of teams that I really like. And I have to say, this season I really liked Liverpool. And I said it before, since I have these Liverpool jerseys, Liverpool suddenly relinquished their lead, which almost had me in the pickle. Should I buy this uh, City jersey to maybe jinx them for this weekend? But nope, I'm not gonna spend. I think I could get it for 50 bucks, but I'm not gonna do that now. It's still a little bit uh, too expensive for my taste, although I really would like to have that one. The current uh, away jersey is beautiful. But this one's also beautiful. Um, there, before we go into details, there are two reasons why I wanted to get this one. A, if you look at this one, I really like that the Liverpool crest has just a live bird here, which is uh, quite bold. But it is not the full crest. This one here has the full crest. That's what I like. It is not in the right colors because we know that the shankly gates on top would be green and i think even the band here is green but other than that it is the full crest and i actually like that it's all in red it looks even more liverpool and just the flames here it makes it actually quite cool uh, and the interesting part is this is not uh, stitched on this is basically a huge sticker that is more or less glued onto this fabric it's even the edges come you can feel it. it in, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that it comes slightly off, but I'm a little bit worried if I would wear this a lot that, you know, you have to be careful with washing that one because that crest is a little bit iffy. Whereas the Adidas, which is in black, is stitched on. Um, but yeah, so this was one of the reasons. The other one, I really like this pinstriping pattern. And if you look at it from a distance, it looks like, yeah, this is white with red pinstripes. That's a great idea uh, makes total sense and you know i know liverpool doesn't have a well-defined away jersey but i find this white one is the most pleasing one to me i know the yellow ones that they sometimes have are, are all right but i think this white with um red is good they put a little bit black in and this was actually worn with black pants because that was actually a traditional uh, away jersey look on classically football kits historically football kits Co UK. Uh, the waitress for Liverpool for the longest time was white with black pants, so I like that one. So for that reason, I really enjoyed this one, although I think that the black uh, is a little bit too much. But when I got this one, so I basically I saw this online. I saw this on this flea market site. Will have, won't have. Uh, I think it was. 15 including shipping so that's why i said okay this is almost a no-brainer and then i got it and i pulled it out and looked at the pinstripes and i couldn't believe it there are some germany flags on there this is the weirdest thing ever i don't know why the pinstripes come in three colors and i checked uh, again and yes this really was worn that way it just looks from the distance that those are red but uh, it's absolutely surprising um, I personally find it a cool, cool effect, although the colors are a little bit, you know, Germany, Austria, Germany, not the biggest, but you know, we have here Austrian flags, three Adidas stripes, so I think I can live with it. So that was for me the biggest surprise. Um, 
when I got that one. I really like that inside of the collar. And this was right at the beginning when uh, shirts started to have an inside collar. You have here the actual the LFC logo that we have now on the home shirts with football Liverpool Football Club in the band written. It's actually quite nice. You see also the patch has quite some ventilation. Otherwise ventilation-wise there's not much going on. And as all the 1011 shirts, I mean it's really like the Spain shirt and the France shirt that have the cut. It thins out towards the bottom and you have these white panels on the side which in the player version have a little bit of ventilation, the, sle um, the sleeves, you know, this is the classic Adidas cut now that it goes like this, so that those don't go up here, the pinstripes, I think it looks all right. So you have the raglan sleeve with the three stripes and you have this empty. The one thing that maybe looks now, since this is a um, non-customized version, it's a plain back. That looks maybe a little bit weird, uh, but if there's a number on there, it wouldn't look that weird anymore. But yeah, pretty plain back. Now, I personally like the color. I just wish that it would go all the way. Red and black with me on the white jersey, you cannot do much wrong. I'm a Milan fan. So that I like. Do I wish that it was all red? Maybe this would be better for Liverpool, but I think it fits with the overall theme of the jersey. And I mean, on the back, you could not tell whether this is a Liverpool or a Milan jersey. As for ventilation, the only other vent ventilation is rather useless, is all the way on the bottom. There's some ventilated material, so not too much ventilation going on in the replica version of this one. I'm pretty sure that the player version would have here, these side panels would be ventilated. But yeah, replicas don't always have all the full technology. I also, last thing, if I look at the sponsor, I really like how this is um, shaded here, so you get a little 3D feel for the standard chart. That. Liverpool did not play well in this jersey. However, I really think this is a beautiful one, so I'm quite happy to have this one. It's my second go to Liverpool jersey, and I've worn it this week when Liverpool made it to the Champions League final. Um, I really think it looks cool. Uh, the tag is the classic Adidas tag from the 2010 World Cup and thereafter, the Jabulani. Um, I realized now that for 2018 they got rid of the tags, which I find a curious thing for Adidas, but I guess it's what you gotta do. Anyway, let me know what you think about this jersey, if you have anything to add on there. Uh, if you have any information on why we have Germany flags in here, I would be very interested in that. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.